Hi, this is Evelyn. Guess what? Today we're going to go, did you ever think of this? Um, you know you can buy these heart-shaped wired. Did you ever think that you could have three of them out of it? Wire cutters, wire cutters, and you have three different hearts. Now on, I believe it was this one, these are available at the craft stores. I think it's five for five dollars. I think that's how they come. Well, I took this wire, for the, the smallest one, and laid it on top and drew a heart from the smallest heart. And in time, I will, I mean, you can't hardly see it, but in time, I will paint this, add something to it. I mean, it's not a complicated thing to do, but it is an idea. Uh, if you want to use the, this for your decoration, I will tell you it is takes a lot of material to make a wreath out of this. A lot of a lot of folding in and out, in and out, in and out, which I personally find very tedious. So I will cut this apart and I will have three of them and it won't be quite so bad. Okay, next idea. I gotta tell you, I look even in grocery stores, craft stores, online, grocery stores, hardware stores, these are all places where I get ideas. Uh, I, I, I don't know, I guess I look at things a little differently. This was a wine bottle cart. I saw it and I liked the shiny green of it. I'm a sparkle person, I like sparkles. I liked the shiny green of it, so I took, again, one of these and cut out the bag, wine, wine bottle bag, and glued it on here. And I have a very pretty something, and it came with its own hanging thing, so I have something very pretty to put on my wall. But I wasn't done. I had more of the bag, so I glued, cut out and glued it inside the frame, and then I cut the green part of the bag and glued it to the side. So now when I get tired of one side, I'll have the other. I have a two-sided item that I can put on my wall. I like the shiny green. I think that's pretty. Did you ever think of taking an embroidery hoop and putting something in it? It's only temporary. You can change it out, Christmas, Easter, any time. Paper napkins are great for this. Uh, I use some twine to make the handle to hang it up with, and I use the twine to make the bow so it's not specific to any color of any season. So this can be changed out. Uh, this can go back in the box of Valentine stuff and to be put back in at Valentine. This was, um, you know, an embroider hoop. They're not very expensive. Also, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hang myself one of these days. I like, now I didn't do it to this one, but to go around it, now let me get this up where you can see it, to go around it to make it that much more interesting, did you ever think of taking rope to go around your pictures to make them more interesting? I find there's always, if you work on something, you get more ideas. Like, I wonder what it would look like if I did this. So that, you know, and of course there's always uh, the bigger one. I only brought a small piece of that but I think I like this one on it better because it's a contrast. That being said, 
again, an embroidery hoop. Yeah. Now, what, I, what am I going to do with that? Well, I'll show you. Right here, I have this framed. These frames are like a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five now. But anyway, um, this is from a gift bag. Gift bags. Whoever thought? Well, the wine bottle bag, but the gift bag. I liked the saying on this so well and the sunshininess and the perkiness of it that I cut up that gift bag and put it in a frame and it sits on a table. I think it's kind of delightful. Well, and then we come to, <laughs> and then we come to Valentine's Day. Sparkles, told you I like sparkles. This was a gift bag. And I took the gift bag, cut it out, put it inside the frame. Well, before I put the frame on it, I cut out some of the sparkle things, hearts, to put on top. There's a sparkle there, there's a sparkle there. Oh, and there's a pink sparkle to give that some interest. And again, it is ultimately reusable because I'll, that'll take that out and I'll put it in my box that I have all of my Valentine's Day things and I can use it next year. That gives me the frame to do something else with. Back to my hoop. A little skinny kid's hula hoop. Here are some gift bags. They're not expensive. They're really not. Did you ever think of putting a gift bag in your hoop. Cut it out. Uh, well, I would draw it. I would definitely draw the outside of it before I cut it. And there are two pieces. You know, the bag has a front and a back. And it also has the lovely hangers. And you can change what you have on your wall for a whim. I like this today and I don't want it tomorrow. Take it out, put it in a box or whatever of your gift bags, and you can go from there. Now on a larger scale, <laughs> rope's caught. I found this and it's shiny and it's pretty, so it appealed to me. The other side may appeal to many other people. But again, my thought was, how, fingers, how neat this would look on the bigger frame canvas. And then I could do various things around it. I could paint the canvas blue. And then it would you know, mix the paint to get the right color. But paint the canvas blue so it would blend into each other. And then you could add flowers. What, you know, whatever decorations you want around the, uh, this thing is really fighting me, isn't it? Get there, there we go. No, no, no. Anyway, but again, you have two sides. You can make two of them sit side by side. Uh, for many years, triplicate paintings were in fashion. Well, you could do a duplicate, one shiny, and one not shiny, which is what I plan on doing. Uh, <laughs> the blue may not look quite so good on my turquoise wall, so it's gonna have to go on a different wall. But I like the idea of doing a duplicate of this for spring. I wanna look at something flowers, something pretty, something that makes me happy for spring. That is what I have for you for this. Did you ever think of doing this? I hope it gives you some ideas. Uh, like I said, now these are interchangeable. Once you take these out, you have the frames to do put anything else you want seasonally in them. Um, there are some gorgeous 
wine bottle bags. Um, I want to explore what I can do with others, but it's going to have to be, have something, you know, pretty interesting in it. This, now I did this one, the, the drawing I did on the plastic because I wasn't sure that I wanted another heart decoration in the house because I have several. Uh, so now I can take the paper off, take the plastic off and do whatever else I want to do with it. But, and I may warn you with your wire cutter, I'm not sure how easy, because this is pretty strong wire, it may be difficult to cut them. I didn't try to do one. Um, you may need your hubby to cut these for you. He'll have his, his hand will have more strength for you. But that being said, yeah, you know, there isn't any reason why you can't cover this whole heart with this white rope. I brought this, of course, <laughs> because you're going to have to do a lot of measuring to make everything fit. I think it'll work out. I hope some of these ideas will just give you, you know, look in your grocery store. What is interesting? Look in those, all those craft stores uh, for bags. Uh, just keep your eyes and your imagination flowing. You know, imagine, okay, what could I make this into? And in another segment today, I'm going to show you what my imagination took and made into something else. I thank you. I bless you all. I'll see you again soon. ONTV encourages you to go back to school and attend our 10-week video production workshop. Classes meet on Monday nights from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and offer instruction on studio production, field production, and nonlinear editing. The cost is $55 per person, and upon completion of the class, you get access to ONTV's facilities and equipment to produce your own program or short film. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org today. Told you I like sparkle. Okay, isn't that pretty? Um, of course, it comes out for Valentine's Day. It is nothing more than a wood. So you got to look at stuff and think. It is nothing more than a wood candlestick that I painted silver. A plastic bowl. Grocery store. Put that on top. I actually painted the outside of this with silver paint so I would have more contrast. Oh, Does it work? Then I added, of course, all of the bling, which you get at the craft stores in sheets. And they're all sticky back, so they're easy to put on. You don't have to use your glue gun to put them on. So that is one of my. I started with this and ended with that. We have, let's see, that's okay. Now we're coming into St. Patrick's Day. I've got this thing. It was just wood, just wood. And I thought, eh, okay. It's green on the green screen, Evelyn. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Then I thought, all right, if I add something to it, it will become St. Patrick's Day. Save, now I know that's all green, so I'm gonna get that off of there right away. It is taking something, like I took that big shamrock, which was brown, and I painted it green, which of course doesn't show up now. But uh, a tip for you is each holiday, the stores come out with paper napkins for the holiday. Buy a small pack because you can cut them up and use them 
for your decorations to add to something to make it become more. And again, now I have boxes. Uh, <laughs> I have a box for St. Patrick's Day. I have a box for Valentine's Day. I have a big box for Christmas. I can't wait for Christmas time to come back and show you some neat things. All right, this I bought because I thought it was cool. Now, again, we can only do so much of this. I'll put my hand over the top. That is not what I saw because it was near St. Patrick's Day. I'll put my hand over the top and maybe you can see it. I saw a jar, a pot of gold. So I painted it black and green. The top is green. And then I, you can buy the coins at the craft stores and puff paint on the inside to make it pot of gold. And this is one of my decorations for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, this is a fun one. <laughs> I love ice cream, especially butter pecan. And there's nothing in the world I love more than pistachios. I have plenty of pistachio nuts. <laughs> I never run out of these. Well, yeah. This is what I made out of it. I glued all of the pistachio nuts. First of all, I painted the carton twice to give it more strength, more body. And then I glued all the pistachio nuts shells to the outside of it, painted it black to give it depth, then painted it blue and ran some silver over it, and then put this tissue paper uh, I, um, paper napkin on the inside. I painted the top and then added the birds to the top of it, put a little silver on it, and I have a very lovely little box to go on one of my tables, all from a crisp, uh, ice cream carton and pistachio nuts. Okay. Where are we going to go? Oh, we didn't quite finish. I think it's so pretty. I happen to have, or remember, I had a bottle up in the cupboard heart shape. So I did this a couple days ago. Just like, okay, what can I do to make it prettier or to make it stand out more or for Valentine's Day? Rather than going the hard red, I decided to go with the pink. And it was done and redone. And lace and ribbons and bows were put on it, and I hated it. So I cut them all off, started again. And I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with what I ended up with, but it was a process. Uh, don't expect your first attempt to be perfect. Um, in your eyes, nobody sees it but you. You can play with it, tear it back apart, and start over again. It is your imagination that's working. I was pleased with this. Uh, <laughs> OK, what am I going to do with this? Hmm? Obviously, I use Splenda. Okay. I find as I age, I don't like to get out of my chair every time I have a Kleenex, a tissue I need to dispose of. A uh, piece of paper I've written a note on. Okay, I've done what I need to do, throw the piece of paper. I'm not getting out of my chair and going in the kitchen and throw it in the basket. So I made a basket. I took this carton painted it. I won't show the other side with the pig because it's got green paint on it. But I painted it. Then I took, well, inside, I don't know if you can see inside, are more animals. These are from calendars. These calendars these days are beautiful. I'll throw them away. Okay, so I glued uh, glue stick. I used glue stick on this and glued all of these on and then came back out and, like I said, cut the pictures out and glue stick them on 
and then put a piece of twine on the top. And this now sits beside my chair, and that's my, my little trash can by my chair. Who would have thought? What else have I got? Ah. <laughs> Coasters. I thought they were pretty. I thought they were very pretty. So I thought, okay, why can't I put them together to make a box? Just a pretty something for a pretty something to sit on was my idea. Okay. Well, they didn't fit. They aren't all the exact same size. So poor me had to put more bling on them. So I filled in the spaces that didn't fit with this bling. You know, again, these strips that are sticky backed. And it comes out in the spring and summer. It's heavy, so it can hold something substantial. And coasters. It can be made out of any coasters you've got. Uh, something that suits your home decor. Uh, doesn't have to be these big heavy ones. Can be much lighter. Uh, okay. You know, you get these boxes at the <laughs> store. And again, I told you I like bling. I decided, what am I going to do with this box? So I started off painting it silver. And that wasn't enough. And then I painted the inside gold. Uh, if you can see that, I painted the inside gold. And it's just a little wood box. I mean, there's nothing particularly about it. Um, went to put it together, and I thought, well, yeah, but. So I painted the back blue so that when you look through the butterfly, you can see something back there. Doodads, anything you want to put in it? I have an idea of getting several of these boxes and building like a pyramid. Uh, not with all this bling, but, oh, and the pearls are all stick on too. I mean, that didn't have to use hot glue on that. But building a pyramid to like put in the bathroom for hairpins and combs and bar soap, you know, whatever you want to put in there. So that came from just about nothing. Oh, oh, all right, let's do this one. Remember I was showing you the uh, frames, the canvas frames, that I said you could get five for a dollar. I had been playing with uh, spackling and thought what happens I painted it. I had originally painted it. Uh, my bedroom's lavender. So this was going to go in my bedroom. I knew where I wanted it. So I had painted it lavender. And then I took a um, craft store lace doily and laid it on top, taped it down. And then I think I used uh, a knife and I pushed the spackling through the lace and left it for a bit for it to dry a little bit so that when I pulled the lace off, the spackling wouldn't come off. And pulled the lace off, and I had all of this nice raised area. Well, it was flat. It, it, it didn't really do me. So uh, with a sponge, paint, a little bit of water to, to loosen it up, then I went over it with that sponge to give it more dimension. And that's pretty something to put on the wall. Well, where are you going to go? There. I wanted, oh, well, let's do Easter. God forbid there's a holiday I don't make something. You can buy which I did buy at the grocery store just recently. 
barbecue sticks. Uh, what are they called? Bamboo skewers. Okay. And they have a nice point on the end. Blunt on the other end. Well, when I was in the store, I found some really pretty blingy <laughs> eggs, Easter eggs, that happen to have a hole in the bottom. Ta-da! So with that, you can make yourself a bouquet to put in a vase of Easter eggs. Doesn't have to be anything more than that. Oh, let's see, where are you? There we are. Isn't that kind of pretty? I've got some flat ones and some sparkle ones. Let's see, what we don't we have? Can't do green. <laughs> I have a blue one. Oh, they also open up. But I am not using them as gifts. There we go. That's a nice little bouquet of Easter eggs. And it's nothing more than bamboo sticks and cheap little Easter eggs you can buy anywhere. Imagination. We talked about frames before. And, eh, gosh, it's green, I'm sorry. Uh, can you see that or does it, well, you can see it here. It is nothing more than a frame with a tissue paper or, what do I want to say, um, wrapping paper or whatever cut out to fill the inside. I'm using the inside of this little canvas to make an Easter thing. And one of my eggs fell off. But three little Easter eggs on it, and you have a sweet little something to put on the table for Easter. I bought this, and he's cute. He's very cute. But they take an Easter napkin and put it on the inside. I can glue this to the inside, decorate the outside, and again, I'll have a two-sided decoration to put anywhere, any table, mantelpiece, whatever, for Easter. This is too cute to, to paint over. Okay, besides, it's got sparkle. Can't paint over sparkle. All right, I warned you, I warned you. I bought this Easter egg, just a wood piece, and painted it. And then I thought, no, I really want a Easter egg. Are you ready? So I got enough sparkle for you? <laughs> I was rather pleased with it. It's a little gaudy, I'll grant you. But in the corner of a table, it really looks sweet. What else have I, oh yes, I don't have too much more, guys. Just a little bit. Okay, then we're done. I started working with glass vases that I had at home. And this plain old vase, just a plain old glass vase, that I sponge painted a neutral color on and then went back and sponge pa painted on a brown, uh, a pink, I uh, don't think I did any green on this. And then I took the paintbrush and, you know, spattered spatters of paint on it, brown paint. Took the rope and wrapped it around the top of the vase, made a big knot to put on the top, and then to balance it out. Bottom. Now this is a... A glass vase looks like if you paint it on the outside. This is what a glass vase looks like if you paint it on the inside. It's very shiny. 
So depending on the effect that you want, if you want the shine, paint it on the inside. Put your paint in, roll it around, around, leave it upside down to drip on something that's going to absorb paint without ruining your table. And that's the difference that you'll have in these two techniques. This is paint on the inside, spackle, just sponged on, and I think I used Epsom salts on it for the sparkle. And then probably went in with some very fine sparkle for it. This is another treatment for a glass vase. Now my last but not least idea for you is hot glue. You can actually take hot glue and put it on, I don't know if you can see it, what is there? A snake. <laughs> it was supposed to be a pretty something, something. On wax paper. Yeah, it isn't going to work. Because as you try to take it off, so does the wax paper. Uh, okay. I'll try aluminum foil. Well, guess what? It doesn't come off without the aluminum foil. Well, that's not what I wanted. So I went in the kitchen and I got my uh, silicone mat that I cooked my cookies on and did an E. And in one of my um, molds, I did a flower. Well, lo and behold, it came off. You can't use <laughs> hot glue to hot glue this to glass. So you have to use E6000 or some other kind of strung and glued it and painted it so that you could see it because it's clear. And then with the flower, E6000, put it on. And then when I was thought it was going to stick, I took some paint and just painted the flower. I hope I've given you some ideas of what you can take and make something very interesting out of. Um, I love my box. I like to put my candy in there. Uh, I'm particularly pleased with how sweet this came out. Not that I didn't struggle with it, because I did. So, all things being said, here's to you. Happy Valentine's Day.